Greetings, everyone. It's so exciting to be here at our very first AI Builders event, where all of you are learning how you can incorporate the latest models and features from Google DeepMind into your apps and into your companies. Um, I'm Paige, uh, and I lead our DevX engineering team at Google DeepMind. And today I'm excited to show you Google AI Studio, kind of the first place that you can go to get access to DeepMind's models as soon as they come out. We've been doing a lot of work to make sure that AI Studio is well integrated with Vertex AI. All of the models that you run are powered by Vertex. Um, and today the feature that I'm really jazzed to demo is something new called Build. Um, build gives you the ability to just describe in natural language an app that you'd like to create, like to uh, deploy even an AI-enabled app. Um, and it takes care of all of the hassle of that deployment so you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and start by pasting in a prompt. And we'll take a look at it together for a second. So it's going to create an app um, that gives the user a merged image of a product that has a specified logo. So this is using Nano Banana to take in an image of a product an image of a logo. I'm going to describe a kind of a character and a scene, and we're going to have that logo put on the product and kind of immersed in that image. So let's go ahead and build an app that gives us the ability to create these images. So first off, we're shown the step-by-step -step thinking process of Gemini 2.5 Pro. Um, we can see all of the architecture of the app as it's being imagined. If you ever played SimCity 2000, this feels a little bit of, like that reticulating splines section at the very beginning. Um, and since it's baked into Google AI Studio, it knows precisely what models to call, precisely what features to use, and all of the latest generative AI SDK um, kind of uh, insights and improvements that have been added over time. Um, almost immediately, we're put into this space that looks like an IDE. The code is getting generated off to the right, including any prompts that would need to be designed in order to enable this experience of the app that we want to build. Um, all of the files are getting added to this really nice file explorer structure um, here in the middle. We've also just recently added support for GitHub. So as you're creating your apps, you can save them in public or private repos on GitHub. Um, and we've also added a deployment to Google Cloud Run feature, which we'll take a look at in a second, that hides all of your API keys, stands up Google Cloud Storage, stands up Google Cloud Run, and make sure that as your app gets deployed, um, you don't have to worry about the hassles of using something um, like Kubernetes, and we take care of all of that for you. So let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit so we can see this full app. It looks like it's done a pretty good job of creating what we want to make come to life. I'm going to go ahead and upload a file. So let's upload a picture of this blank bandana. I'm going to upload the logo for Kinetic Minds as well. I'm going to describe a scene, so perhaps like world's cutest labradoodle in a DuBose Park on a sunny day. Um, always the best place to take beautiful labradoodles if folks live in San Francisco. Um, and we should see a generated image crafted for us by Nano Banana, aka Gemini 2.5 Flash Image Preview, um, in just a couple of seconds. Beautiful. Look at that. That is adorable. Um, I'm sorry if anybody's not a dog person, but how can you look at that face and not see, not see just absolute sunshine? So we've got this app, which is wonderful. I want to share it with all of you, and I'm sure you want to share it with all of your friends. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. I'm going to select a Google Cloud project, which is natively integrated in AI Studio. I'm going to go ahead and deploy this app. And behind the scenes, like we mentioned, all of that stuff is being provisioned for us. Um, so we get all of the goodness of Google Cloud through the ease and interface of AI Studio. So it looks like we've got a URL that we can go um, click, uh, test, kind of see running in action. And if I went to Google Cloud, I could take a look at that project, see the logging automatically set up, um, the storage, um, uh, and the like. Um, so, so I'm going to go ahead and click my, uh, click my personal account um, so we can go ahead and see that. Um, and we've got all of the logs associated. Um, and all of the, the goodness for um, the app that we've just built and created that you can access um, through your Google Cloud Console, which includes things like unified billing. Um, so we're 
doing a lot of great work to make sure that Google Cloud and AI Studio are tightly coupled, that AI Studio is your fastest path from having an idea, creating a prototype, to deploying it to production on Google Cloud and using Vertex AI. And as you scale up to hundreds of millions of users, um, you can have confidence that your app will be able to do that with you um, across multiple regions, multiple lines of reliability, and the like. So thank you so much. Yeah.